Welcome, guys, to the last farming tournament ever in FS17. Well, unless somebody else makes one, but this is going to be the last one for us. It is started. Okay, so we've officially found a starting date. Tyre Bog has been working endlessly just making this. Like, just, he's going, he's going ham on this. So, guys, starting date is going to be July 30th of the tournament. And it's going to run to July, or wait, yeah, July 30th. It'll run to, like, August 13th or 14th-ish. Because we figured people start school like right then. I know I start school like a couple days after that. So yeah, that way everybody should be, a lot of people should be off for the summer. So that's when we're on July 30th to like August 13th. And so we're going to give you guys a rundown. It's a lot different than the other tournament. We got things more organized. We learned, that wasn't even an official tournament. This is like official tournament. We got stuff down. So we want to explain some to you. I got Tire Bog on here. Tire Bog, you designed this whole entire map. Let me show you guys this map he's got. Um, let me go in the ground so you guys can see it better. But explain the map to us, Tire Bog. Well, it's just a PDA map. I went in and changed it, got it color coded. Yeah, so it's course it, play to use the acreage. Yeah. And so there's gonna be eleven different there's eleven different sections here. There will be okay guys, I'm gonna have all the information down below. I literally create a whole Google form, like a whole Google Drive full of all the information for this tournament that you guys can view. It's got price of the land, price. It will have eventually price of equipment. It'll have teams and members on each team. It'll have the rule book, which is super important. We have the rule book in there, so check that out down below. And then also all the Google form for a sign up sheet down below too for you guys to sign up. You guys got to be on, but like just make sure you answer the questions good. Answer them the best of your ability. If you put a really long description answering them, I'll probably, I'm most likely, it'll be easier for me to choose you. It'll be easier for me to single you out. So put a really long description explain everything about yourself real good and your farming similar experience and so we have 11 of these we'll have 12 people total playing in it not including refs there will be like 15 with refs i guess so six teams 12 people total yeah that's how we we're going to do it six teams and 12 people total um and so we have everything color coded like most likely it'll work out to where like a team buys two farms so they'll buy like the orange farm and then the light blue farm or something like that it'll most likely work out something like that Everybody will start with $8 million. This is all in the rule book, guys. There's fines this time, by the way, too. But let me get on to the equipment. What's going to go down with the equipment? The auction will start Monday. I think it will be Mon is Monday, July 30th. Yeah, Monday, July 30th. And then, okay, so right here we have a John Deere. We have a John, John Deere mower. And then Tirebox got some other equipment. I let He put in all this equipment. And so we're going to... We still have to add in some equipment, too, also, by the way. So, like... A lot of this equipment you see, we're working with G-Portal to just make this server just crazy, man. It's just going to be insane. So we're working with them to like expand the server a lot. So we still have a couple more mods we got to add in. Definitely a lot more John Deere. We're going to get an 8R um, and then an 8RT I'm adding in and then a couple other stuff. But for right now, we have semis, Kenworth. I'll let you guys just look at them. I won't name them. But yeah, we have all of these semis here. And then we have cotton. You can do cotton because this is Mills County map, guys. It'll be cotton. By the way, all of the mod links for everything of this will be down below you guys can download the mods if you want all the mods will be down below we still have to add in a couple things like trucks and stuff case combine we'll probably add in some more content combines we got the gleaners gloss gleaner another cotton picker yeah so people can do cotton i've never done cotton though but it looks kind of fun oh man this is gonna be crazy so s680 what you can change wheel options on that if you don't want the big fat tires um the s690 right here maybe a new holland we'll get in here a new holland combine again there too and so this is like a demo unit of what you can add into your farm too so you can add in these huge bins you can add in the shop the water these uh and then these seeds these seeds and uh the fertilizer here the placeable fertilizer so those are we just showed those so people can know they can add them in and then over here we have the big brew shout out to welcome farms for the big brew welcome farms we got the big brew in here we got the cat challenger again or challenger i should say not cat um you haul in another challenger brute and then we get over here, we got another challenger, K case quad track, which we're going to add in an American quad track, like not in game without these like things on the front and these bars and stuff. It'll be a little, a little more US, I guess. And then we also have New Holland, Steiger, an old Steiger dude. We have some Olivers here. We have the case Magnum 340, old Steiger. This is actually a sweet tractor. I kind of want to get this tractor. One of these Magnums here. These look pretty nice. Um, we have an 8R, which this is kind of European, so or 8130, so I'm going to get rid of that. Actually, put in more like of American stylish. And then we have an Oliver four-wheel drive. We have the 9R, uh, 46, ooh, 4630, okay. Um, 1486 International, 
And yeah, we got this all right here. And so we're going to be adding a lot more tractors. If you guys want any more, give me recommendations down below. Send me a link. Hook me up with that stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing. And then, okay. So now me and Tire Bog are going to drive over to the implements now. Because we got a whole implement section, guys. This is going to be insane. You guys can sign up down below. There's, let's see. We already have, like, you can see on the Google Drive of everything, how many spots are available. I think we already have, we have like six or seven more spots left for the tournament to play in. Yeah. And then the auctioneer is going to be more farmer. I, I guess he's a great auctioneer. So we're going to allow more farmer to be the auctioneer for this one. I think he's going to be playing in it too. Um, I think Roman's going to be playing in it. I don't know. Oh, also prize pack shit. Uh, prize, prize, uh, prize winners, I guess. First, second, and third place of teams will win prizes. I don't know how much yet. It'll be more than last tournament. It could be up to $500. I don't know. We, we have no, I'm trying to get things lined up and choose a, a good uh, pricing. But first, second, third will win money for this okay so you can go look at the rule book of how how the winners win it's b calculated based on net worth and it'll all explain it in the rule book but um okay so here we go for implements we have rollers we have baggers grain carts all down there dude this is just huge and then on this end well okay and then we have some wind rowers down there and loaded wagons this on, and we have some air seeders some drills db60 uh white planters uh, 7,800 or 7,400, 7,200, 7,200 planters, uh, some more DBs, some more, uh, coon cultivators, rippers, um, land all equipment. And then we have the John Deere 50 foot disc right there. And so we have a lot of, okay. Those trucks are just like our trucks. We're driving around right, right now. Dude, that truck looks really sweet for some reason. I don't know. The lime green looks so cool. <laughs> I mean, I just <laughs> knew you'd get that truck. And then we have, okay, this will be, okay. This is more for hauling silage and stuff, right? These two. Yep, these are two silage trailers, yep. Okay, perfect. And then we have grain trailers, Crazy Mount Wilson. They have a little pup behind them. Some have, One of them has a pup behind them. Um, insane amount of grain trailers. Two of them have a pup. And then these will be for hauling bales. These uh, for the semis. Holy squeak there. And then we have seed tenders, sp uh, sprayer trailers, um, and then equipment trailers over here. So that's what we got. We're going to put in some more augers. Let me know if we're missing anything, too. That we should put in. Well, the augers are back here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. You threw in some more augers. Yeah. Okay. The augers are... Oh, perfect. We got some augers back here. Perfect. Um, We were thinking about throwing in some gravity wagons, too. Let me know if you guys think we should throw in some gravity wagons. I thought about that, too. And so, yeah. This is the equipment lineup, guys. Now, we're going to go kind of give, like, a tour of the farm, too. That's what I'm thinking. So, I'll jump in, pick up. Tire bog will jump in. And so, yeah, this is going to be insane. We'll still have the same, like, mechanics as last time with your own bank account and stuff. Um, we're going to try to have everything on a big spreadsheet of what everybody owns, and the price and stuff. And so when everybody goes to sell everything, we'll have a price of what their equipment's worth when they go and sell it. And it'll be calculated all on net worth. Net worth is just uh, assets minus liabilities. And literally everything's an asset here, basically. All your equipment, animals, land. Um, trying to think of anything else is going to be all assets. Nobody's going to have any liabilities, really. I don't think. And then, okay, so another thing is, okay, you will get a fine if you don't use your blinker. We added that in. There's a couple of weird fines like that we threw in just to make it fun. So that way, like, people got to stay on top of it. But one way around it is you can always throw on hazards. If you throw on your hazards on any piece of equipment, you're going on the road, you can't get any fines for blinkers or anything. But if you want to be risky... And it's only for paved roads, too. If you're on gravel, you're fine. But uh, say, like, right here, now I have to use my blinker because I don't have hazards on, and I actually got to use my blinker to turn in here. But if I had hazards on, I wouldn't have to use my blinker at all. Like, I could just pull in with hazards and stuff. So we're basically just making it so everybody uses their hazards. This is what we're going to do. So it's going to be interesting. Another fine is if you teleport. I, I think we'll have a teleport mod on, but you'll get a $15,000 fine. Um what else i think we have uh we have some more fines on there but you guys can check on the rule book i we have a couple different things so okay i guess i don't know where we're starting really so right now oh we're gonna come to a dead end so right now to the right of us is feel is the orange area these are all orange areas and mills county is pretty darn flat too and so this will be uh this will be pretty cool to the left of us is purple areas it's a purple farm. Ooh, I don't know what farm I want. I don't even know how many farms there are. I'm just going to head this way. We'll see. So we're heading north. Okay, so we're just going to be heading up through the orange area. So this is all orange right now. Pretty sure. Yeah, this is all orange. Wow, dude. There are a lot of farms in the orange area. 
Wait, no, that's the livestock auction site. Okay, so that's where you buy livestock at. Mills County is, dude, just a huge map. Um, where are we going now? We're going, okay, so we're going to curve around here. Yes, okay, I better turn my hazards, man, so I don't get caught doing anything. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. In our rafts, we'll have, dude, these fields are huge. Okay, and so. an interstate, too. That's cool. Oh, yeah, we get, oh, okay, hold on. Um, I kind of want to jump on that interstate. Is there any way to get to it, like, realistically? Exit here, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, turn there, I think. Okay, okay, we're going the wrong way on the interstate, but we're going to try her out. Okay, so what is that? Is that a town? I think that's the milk cell. Okay, yeah, so this is going to be insane. Hold on, let me see what corn prices and stuff are. I want to see that, too, because prices, or just prices in general. So, livestock auction, Mills uh, County Co-op, Mills County Grain Storage, oh, Mills Elevator. Oh, so the only two places you can sell are Mills Co-op and... Mills elevator, it looks like, for most crops. Okay, so there's only two places. I was hoping there'd be a little more than that, but at least there's two places. At least there's just not one place. So, okay, so for now, we will... And where are those places at? They're probably north and south end of the map. Okay, so here's the interstate. So you'll see people trucking down the interstate. Oh, one thing we should do is not allow tractors on the interstate. Because, like, in real life, you can't do that. I mean, yeah. unless... I, yeah, definitely not a 75 mile an hour interstate. Okay, so... We will not, I'll, I'll throw that in the rule book too. We won't allow tractors on the interstate. Oh, <laughs> dude, this is just sweet having an interstate here. Okay, where, how far does this go? I'm just gonna head down here and we'll uh, see. It goes, there's an overpass there, the shop. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll, okay, we'll go explore the blue area over here, guys. Oh, this is just sweet. Then or, you have the, or, or you could go to the cow farm too, all the way there. Oh, is the white area the cow farm? Yeah. Okay, I'll just head all the way to the cow farm then. That'll work good. Oh, this is just cool. Okay, so the internet... Oh, the interstate will just curve down here. Yeah, so a lot of people are going to have to be hauling their equipment and stuff. Dude, this map is just huge. This is going to work perfect. It's like a whole country over here. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. These fields are just... Oh, there's a car. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, I'm swerving out. I didn't even notice. I saw one piece of traffic. Or one... Not one piece of traffic. One... One car. There's another car. Dude, those cars are flying. Dang. Okay. Wow, this is going to be huge, man. Everybody's going to have a lot of grain and stuff. These fields are huge, too. Oh, man. I don't know. This is going to be a lot. This is going to be a lot to farm. Okay, so we're over close to... Let's find an exit or something. Dairy farm is... Yeah, this to... next exit. Okay, yeah, we'll take the exit. <laughs> oh, man. I did not realize how big a map this was. And so... Okay, so right over here, we'll take the exit. Got my hazards on, so technically I don't have to take the exit. I know it's kind of weird that everybody just has their hazards on. But that way you can get out of your blinker. Out of having to use your blinker. Okay, so we'll take a left up here. And, oh man, this is just going to be sweet. Okay. So here, over here is the dairy farm. This will be the dairy farm area. Oh man, I feel like everybody's going to want to teleport. Because you have to drive like a ways. Oh, look how big this dairy farm is. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wait, you see the silage. Wait, okay, to the right is that? Hold on, what's to the right? Just a, a separate farm. Okay, just a separate farm. Okay, so to the left over here. So white is going to be the dairy farm. I know Nathan's going to want this. Nathan, Tyrog's going to want this. I'm going to bid him up. <laughs> I'm going to bid him up on this. I don't really... Oh, man, this is going to be sweet. Okay, so here's... If I can get in here. Okay, so is this the store? That, this is the dairy farm. Wow. Yep. So it's called... Apple Creek Dairy Farm. Oh, this is going to be huge. Oh my gosh, dude. This is just huge. Everything's spread out real nice and stuff. So there's the silage. Is that your silage pit over there? Yeah, yeah this, these two spots right here. Okay, and then you got, okay, and here's your cows. Um, Ooh, I wonder, when you buy cows, do cows actually come out in this pasture, I'm assuming? I think so. Yeah, okay, yeah, I bet they do. Oh, this is cool. Look how big this barn is, boys. Okay, this is just this is sweet. I wish the cows actually moved, but I, you, maybe they will once they buy them and they come out here in the pasture. Wow. Okay, this is gonna be a huge map, dude. So here's the dairy farm. Maybe we should just tab over to places, and you can tab around. You just can't teleport equipment, is what we mean by teleporting. So okay, let's go tab to another farm because it's gonna be a ways to drive. <laughs> dude, this map is huge. Let's uh. Let's go to, oh man, I gotta, I gotta think of, okay, lead us to the next farm, Tire Bog. Alright, we'll go up here by the white up top. Okay, so, 
72 up here. Yeah. Okay, so this is one of the other farms. Ooh, what's over there? Oh, okay, that's just... Yeah, this is a smaller farm. It's really spread out, though. I like it. And then you got grain storage all through here. Okay, so yeah, most of these, you won't even need an auger for, it looks like. Most of these um, grain sites. <laughs> this is a huge map, though. Okay, and then we got a Morton building just right out front. Nice. If she opens up. Maybe it's... uh. How does this open up? Oh, wait, there we go. Nice. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of storage. This map is huge. Okay, so now we'll move down to here. What area is this? This is this is the white area, guys. And so if we move down to yep. purple farm over there by field 45, how about? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I've been to this farm before, I think. Oh, yeah, this is a, this is a big farm. Okay, so we'll... Uh, We'll get out of the shed quick. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, this is a huge farm here, even. I feel like you're, everybody's going to want to have huge equipment for these farms, though. Wow. Okay, nice. And then we got, dude, these grain storage. Oh, my gosh, man. This is going to be huge. Okay, so, yeah, everybody just pull in here with their semis. Yeah, everybody. Okay, I'm going to be. I'm going to want to be a big farmer for these. So, okay, right out here, this field, which is just humongous. What? Field is this? This is field forty-five, so it's not even. Wow, wow, that's that's just a big field. Okay, so, so now do you want to move over to here? Let me look at my map. It's kind of weird. Um, we'll go to field the red one, the red uh, area. Let's go to the orange, orange area. Okay, so up here. The orange area is. There we go. Okay, so it's pretty. It's pretty spread out. It's pretty spread out through here. Okay, yeah. It is, and then there's a couple bins over here. You got your house. You got another bin over here. You got your shed. Nice. It's kind of elevated too. Like, look at that curb coming up there. We gotta watch out for stuff like that, I guess. Man, I'm gonna really have to study this map before I even start buying anything. I'm gonna have to go around to every farm because wow, I'm not even used to this map. There's so many farms. Okay, now do you want to go to? Um, so have we been to blue? Light blue? Nope. Okay, blue we'll head. Light blue? No. Okay, we'll head over to light blue. See what's up over there. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a gas station. Yeah, it's across the road. Oh, okay. Okay. Right here is the farm across the road. Okay. Oh, this is pretty... Hmm. This is, this is kind of small farm over here. So there's one shed over here. Compared to some of the other farms, it's small, let's say. There's one shed over here. This is almost like an acreage, I feel like. Oh, kind of. It's kind of a farm. Oh, it's 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 got a nice shop in there, though. And then out here is a couple bins. Tractor just parked here. It looks like a 6410 or something like that. Uh, 6200, okay. Just parked right out here. Nice. Okay, this is a smaller farm, definitely. And then, oh, you got gas station right across the street, which is nice. Okay, so now do you want to head to uh, the red? Are you going to red? Yep. Okay, you're going to red down there. Okay, I'm following you over there. There we go. So this is the red farm. Watch. Oh, it has a nice barn. Has a nice little shed here. Okay. This is a nice little farm we got going over here. And then I like how these are really spread out. Like there's a lot of room throughout the driveways and stuff. Kind of nice like that. Can you go? I, I doubt you can go inside the houses. Stuff. Okay. So there's that. What's across the street though? Is that? That's the pig farm. Okay. And the pig farm is a part of what? Red. Okay. Pig farm is a part of red. Okay. Oh, okay, let's sprint over to the pig farm quick. Or let's let's uh, run over there and see what it's like. Oh, dude, everything's just so big. We look tiny here. I don't know, it's like everything giant. Okay, the pig farm's kind of cool, actually. I like it. I like it. There we go. And then we got a couple more barns over here. Nice. Okay, so the pig farm's going to be uh, pig farm's gonna be pretty cool over here. Okay, so now where do you want to go to? Light green, oh. the sheep over there. Yep. Okay. Light green, the sheep. Um, chicken coop. Oh, they have chickens too. Oh, sweet! I just found an egg. There we go. So this is gonna be sheep. Oh, this would not be a bad farm to buy. I kind, I kind of feel like I want to get a farm in the middle of the map too. That way I'm like around everybody now, just on like on the edge of the map. Okay, sweet. So this is gonna be everything's flat about this map. That's one thing. It, it's pretty darn flat around here. Okay, so, yeah, this will be the chicken area uh, and the sheep area. And then, okay, so if we go over to, you want to go to 31? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yellow. Yeah, let's go to yellow. 
There we go. So here is here's yellow. Oh, I've been to this farm too. I've been to this farm over here. Okay, so yellow farm is gonna be it's just huge fields. 41, 38, 39, 40. Specifically 41 is like one of the biggest fields on this. Maybe not maybe maybe 74 could be bigger to be honest. I guess. Oh <laughs> look at that. Okay, so 41 is here. Nice dude. This field, oh my gosh, man. I don't know how somebody's going to even be able to do this. This field is just huge. Okay, so yeah, this will be yellow farm. Okay, next farm, tire bog. Blue. Blue, okay. Over we'll go down there. Oh, this is a nice little farm. Got some nice unique sheds and stuff. I like it. It's huge. Not little farm, it's huge. Oh my gosh. The grain setups on these things, boys. They're just humongous. Look at these. It's going to be a lot of semi-trucking, I feel like. Stuff. It's gonna be a whole oh, yeah. different aspect. Okay, we're gonna maybe need some bigger equipment in here too, is what I'm thinking. But nice. Okay, so we have we have some pretty big farms around here. Okay, so um, and then do we have any more? That's, that's it. All of them. Do you want to go up to the ethanol plant? Yeah, yeah. Ethanol plants. Just okay. Top left up there. Yeah, we'll head up to the ethanol plant. Check that thing out. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be one of the cell points. Eventually, it should be. Yep. And it converts uh, ethanol into to, gas uh, or fuel. Wet corn or wet distillers, what they uh, call it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll be sweet. Okay, so yeah. here's the whole map, boys. Now, when I go to map overview, it's like covered up by some of the things. I think one of the best sections to be on is fruit types too. You can see most of it. It covers up some things. But if you really want to see the full map, I guess, just open up keypad 9 and just, like, look at something dark. You can really... Also, uh, if you go to fruit types and then click on Milo, it'll disappear. Oh, okay. Okay, so fruit types... Or... Fruit types... Yeah, fruit types 2. Click on Milo. And then you can click on Ryan Cotton. And oh, disappear. okay, there we go. Nice. Now I got it. Okay, so now we can see everything. That's what I was wondering. Nice. We got everything... So yeah, you can you guys can see the whole map here, what we all got. That's gonna be it. I want to run you guys through equipment still a little bit to see what we to show you guys kind of what we got for equipment. And so I'm thinking, I'm thinking everybody will want some bigger equipment. So I'm gonna throw some a little bit bigger equipment in there, um, for some people I guess. There is a little older equipment too that they can get. I feel like we need just some more tractors and stuff is what we're gonna need. And then. Let's see for if okay if you guys have any other ideas on equipment and stuff let me know in the comment section like hook me up with a link other than that sign up for the tournament boys he's going down july 30th is the starting date it could be up to 500 dollars uh prize uh for like the whole tournament and stuff i'm still working out a deal with uh like a sponsor of the of the tournament so we'll see if that happens but it could be it could be something like that that'd be pretty sweet uh so sign up down below fill out the form best you can man and uh Hope to, I hope to see you guys on here. I hope to play again. I hope to I hope to beat you guys in this tournament. That's what I hope to do. But uh, anyways, guys, we will see you boys later. And big thank you to Tired Bog. Tired Bog, I'll link his channel down below. Set this whole thing up. He set, he, he set most of this up. All this equipment lined up perfectly. That was all him. Server, everything. And Owen helped him. Um, some on the server and stuff like that. So thank you to those two. Those guys did an awesome job. And uh, we will see you later, boys. Thanks, guys.